Welcome back to Trending Thank Show, Thank Justin. You. Thank you. Justin, my man. I feel welcomed right now. You should. I feel super welcome. It is always a... Uh, I hope I always invite you in with a warm welcome. You do. Here on the Trending Show. You do. So... I, just, I don't know yeah. why Batman and Robin are hiding Harley Quinn back there. She's like, she's don't see me. She's like, I'm here, but I'm not. Yeah. She's hiding. <laughs> she's being mischievous back there over his shoulder. So sassy. Sassy girl. Speaking of sassy... <laughs> Yeah, rolling right in. That's the best segue I could come up with. Jumping into this YouTube trending list this week, man. Mm. A lot of stuff going on. There's one. There's one point that's that's pretty prominent, and I'm and we're gonna get there, I'm sure. But uh, let's start light, man. Um, light and hot. Light and hot. That was my nickname in high school, by the way, guys. <laughs> Yo, there's light and hot. Hey, light and hot. Oh me. Oh me. Oh. <laughs> We should change that. <laughs> David Dobrik <laughs> experiences real pain while eating spicy wings. This is, of course, on First We Feast Hot Ones. I feel like it's it's like it's expected for Hot Ones to be on the trending list. Oh, yeah. Most. Weeks oh, yeah. Because oh, it yeah. is just such a good show. We've said it a million times. David Dobrik is such a hot, like, YouTuber, too. Like, such a... Uh, such a hot personality, I should likeable say. Likable guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, likable. Yeah. He's got a huge smile. Yeah. He's always joking. Um, he and he has he is one of the he's one of those uh, guests that has a seriously low spice tolerance. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and it shows from the get from the right. first one. He's like, "What? What is this?" I'm so glad the hot ones is on the training list because you know whenever hot ones is on the training list, I got a surprise. Oh, are you serious? No. <laughs> Dude, so I literally just went <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Uh, hot ones is on the trending list. I pulled out some hot sauce. I think the Scoville was three hundred fifty thousand. Right, it messed me up for the day. Yeah, it messed me up. <laughs> well, and I, I guess whenever I watch hot ones, I never really pay attention to the Scoville. Right? Okay, and so I'm watching this one. Yeah, uh, with David Dobrik, and he's so uh, like I was saying, he has no spice tolerance whatsoever. <laughs> the first one's like fifteen hundred. And oh, they're still what? They're only getting into like seventy five thousand at like uh, sauce five. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, whoa, we yeah, we did some things. Yeah, so yeah, um, so I have a new respect for myself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but man, he gets so messed up, and I can totally relate because we were. If you go back and if you go back and watch that episode or listen to that right. episode, I forget which episode number it is, but we got wrecked. Yeah, and it was embarrassing. It, <laughs> it was embarrassing. <laughs> and the funniest part is watching him trying to this guy who who is a talkative dude who yeah. who has, you know, zingers and one liners and all right. the thing, try to talk through that that <laughs> intense pain. And I was like, man, I can totally relate. But yeah. Uh it was a good one, dude. We had tacos, um, I don't know, with some friends like a couple days after that. Mm-hmm. And they went in the fridge and like, oh, I need some hot sauce. They grabbed that same hot oh, sauce. No. I forget what the name of it was. Uh, Maria's? Yeah, Marie yeah. Sharp or something? There you go. Marie Sharp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Or, yeah. yeah, well, wow. And he opened it up. And before I could say, oh, be careful with that one, he's dousing Dou- it, Ooh. right? Mm-hmm. Like it's ketchup on chicken nuggets. Just dousing <laughs> it, right? And then before he took a bite, I was like, dude, that one's dangerous. Be careful. Yeah. And he ate the entire taco. He's like, oh, it's warm, but not too bad. What? Yeah, I know. See, some people just have that. You know what I mean? Like some people yeah. just have that tolerance or I don't even know what you call yeah. it. Or maybe they were born without taste buds. But. Yeah. Because <laughs> I couldn't pretend like it wasn't causing me great pain. Right. Yeah, no. I tried I to. tried. I tried to talk There's three cameras on like, us. I tried. <laughs> Eyeballs sweating. <laughs> That's so good. All right. Next up is from Pixar. I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, man. It is an animated film called Soul. And this is actually the official trailer. Right, comes out June nineteenth. It looks so good. I saw I saw like teasers for it before. Yeah. You know, like yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I forget what we. Anyways, we went and saw a movie in the theaters, and there was like a there was like the teaser for it, and the teaser doesn't give you uh, the synopsis, right? Right. What what to expect? You're right. like, oh, it's Pixar. I'm I'm sold already. Yeah. Uh, but I still had no idea kind of what was it, what it was about. This this trailer is more of a. A deep dive, you know, two minutes and twenty seconds, a deep dive into the actual synopsis of what the movie is. It right. looks so good, so good, so, so good. good. I'm a sucker for Pixar, Disney, Me too. all the things. I think you are too. It's closed now. Disneyland is closed. Yeah, as of Saturday. Right, and through April, I guess is what yeah. is what t- they're tentatively Whew. 
doing. Sorry to so, bring it down. I'm just saying. Uh, bring it down. But, <laughs> but anyways, but bringing it back to Pixar because we're going to get there. We're getting there. <laughs> bring it back to Pixar. What's your favorite Pixar movie, man? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Um, I would say, oh, shoot. Um, your cars, your Toy yeah. Story franchise. Cars or... 1, probably. Okay. A Toy Story. Um, mm-hmm. Dude, I, it's hard to pick. Yeah. Was Good Dinosaur Pixar? It was. Okay, so I, I'll say all of the uh, <laughs> Pixar movies are my favorite, with the exception of Good Dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, poor guy. That was a terrible movie. That poor movie. Uh, I'm an Incredibles fan myself, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, dude. Dang. Yeah, that's good. A family of superheroes. Yeah. Like It's kind of a... It's on the dream board, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I love it, <laughs> I don't know dude. How we're gonna get there. But. I love it. Well, um, hang out here. We kind of do that. <laughs> we true. battle. It's, we battle monsters. It's true. Just the other day, we battled an alien. It's crazy. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Um, don't know which one I would be. Oh, the dad. Okay, never mind. Um, just trying to figure out which incredible character. <laughs> Violet. Yeah, because we got all of them. We got the two boys and we got the right. girl. Yeah, and that's. You're kind that's of it. like mm. perfectly. You're further along on the dream board than I am. <laughs> well, just hang out, dude. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, so I'm super pumped for this movie. It comes out June 19th, and it's going to be great. Yes, sir. All right, next one on the list is a homemade screw tank test drive from Colin Furs is the creator. <laughs> did you did you know that this is a real thing? Screw tanks are I, real? I didn't. I had to Google it. Well, it, I didn't know it was a real thing. And yeah. what it, it immediately reminded me of, it's funny that we were just talking about Incredibles, because the Underminer oh, comes up from the yeah. ground <laughs> in like a screw wow. tank. Well, it's Holy, more like a single, yeah. a yeah. single. you know, he's digging tunnels under the yeah. underground, but that's what it looked like to me. Yeah. So I was like, I got to click this thumbnail. And it's just, imagine, for those listening... Imagine just a, a two like cil- cylinder turbines spinning that have screw uh, threads yeah, essentially yeah. that become the treads that move this vehicle forward. <laughs> yeah. So it looks nerdy as all get out. Right. But it moves. It man. moves They're through through mud, through water, through yeah. grass, up a hill. And so the real one, not the real, that is a real one, but sure. the his, ones used in historic, history, <laughs> history, historically, um, have two on each side. So if you oh. want to turn, they turn oh, in they opposite kinda, directions okay. and you can pivot easier. Okay. Uh, there was a video I saw that someone uh, refurbished a Soviet era screw tank. Oh, okay. and, and that was probably huge? Massive? It maybe? was pretty big, yeah. Okay. It wasn't like this. Yeah, because this, this is the size yeah. of like a big lawnmower almost. Yeah, or like a go-kart. A go-kart, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, just interesting, and I've I'd never seen this creator before, um, and you know it's it's fun. He wears like a white shirt, and a tie, and he's out there just doing all the crazy stuff in this in this screw tank. Yeah. If you want to watch something that you've never seen before, this is something <laughs> that's, that's very sure. unique. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Next up is BR football, and it's a football match, a soccer match between. Uh, looks like uh, Dortmund and. PSG? PSG? No, wait. Yeah, no, it would be PSG yeah, and yeah. Dortmund. We know a lot about soccer. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, <so> <laughs> we don't even know who the teams are. <laughs> but the crazy thing about this is they're having their soccer match, and the stadium is empty. Completely empty. <laughs> empty. And so you can actually hear the players. Over here! No, it's Over like, here. yeah, the, the majority of the sound coming from this video is the players on the field <laughs> yelling, pass it here, or, yeah. hey, watch out, left side, like that type of stuff. Yeah. Because this stadium is a ghost town. They obviously, uh, because of coronavirus, they banned fans from mm-hmm. soccer matches. Right. Um, and I don't know where this this took place. Um, I'm guessing oh, in Europe. Uh, in the Dortmund Stadium. <laughs> we know so much about oh, dude. football. <laughs> yeah. I mean, soccer. Um, but anyways, such an ear. It's almost... It's almost eerie, right? And um, and what we're seeing now with with the coronavirus is that they're they're canceling all of these or postponing all of these large uh, sporting events and things right. like that. And then earlier this week, they mentioned that they were going to uh, ban fans from the NCAA March Madness yep, tournament. Yep. And my immediate reaction was, that is going to look so weird, right? and it's going to feel weird. Yeah. Because so you're, you're watching these players, all you right. hear is the ball dribbling and right. the same thing, them just talking and empty right. stands. And the biggest thing about like March Madness is the 
is that fan interaction and people going crazy with the upsets and the and the all right. those things and so like that that's a huge piece of the of the production energy and, and the energy yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah. so my immediate thought was like oh man that's gonna look weird and then right. of course they've since completely canceled the right. tournament which is uh wild but um so i clicked on this video and i wanted to talk about this video because i i was like i know no one's gonna be in the stands and sure enough it was just it's just an eerie interesting uh look yeah you know um because normally those stands are packed and and soccer hooligans are like the the <laughs> yeah. that's what they call them, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're like some of the most like avid fans out there. Oh and, yeah, and, yeah. And when you watch a match with no fans, yeah, it's a little uh, it's eerie. Little, yeah, it's a little eerie. Here's here's the good news. Once we get through this coronavirus thing, mm-hmm. think of I mean, you, there's a concert that you were going to go to that was postponed. Right, yeah. uh, there's events. There's trade shows. There's all these things that are being canceled. Wait until these things are rescheduled, the energy is going to be amazing. Be, yeah. no, just like, true. not just like, but very different than, I'm not comparing any of these things necessarily, but after 9-11, mm-hmm. or after uh, when Las Vegas Golden Knights got yeah. together, after the mm-hmm. massacre in Las right. Vegas, and we're both Vegas boys, yeah. the energy that the Golden Knights had after yeah. that tragedy. No, it's true. It, it's, Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. It's not, dude, I'm telling you, it's yeah. not a team, it's like a cult now, and I mean right, that in like right. the most mm-hmm. amazing oh, way yeah. possible. Yeah. Like, and so, dude, wait until you're at an NBA game, <laughs> right? And you weren't able to have this thing that you love in your life right. for a mm-hmm. year, and you're in the stands hearing everyone cheer. The players are freaking out. Yeah, the concert that you are uh, we're going to go to. Yeah, that is mm-hmm. going to be the most right. epic show ever. So we gotta huddle mm. up. We gotta keep to ourselves and not mm. cough on each other. But once. We're released back into the public. <laughs> it is going to be lit. It's true. It's lit. so true. That that like coming together process after the fact. Oh, after, like we've we've endured a thing and like been through it. It's so true. The energy is a different level. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Let's just not die in the process. Let's not die in the process. But I really I really appreciate your uh, your your uh, insight or your outlook on that for sure. That's awesome. I'm pump- like I'm gonna go to things that I wouldn't have normally gone to. Yeah. I just want to feel it, man. Yeah. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> Let's just not die before this. Yeah. My boy Joe Rogan is on the list. Uh, again, kind of keeping with the same theme here. How serious is the coronavirus? Um, and he has an infectious disease expert named Michael uh, Osterholm uh, on his show. Um, and uh, this guy this guy uh, describes himself as a, a, a disease detective. That's right. Right? And so his um, the work that he does is basically finding researching these infectious diseases figuring out where they started figuring out uh what the you know things down to the symptoms what uh the incubation time is like how how we can predict use data to predict the spread what the numbers will look like and he shares some pretty intense numbers about this coronavirus thing man he does and uh you could watch the full hour plus video on joe rogan's podcast Mm -hmm. Or listen to it. Or if you go to GRE Clips, um, Eric just said the title. But again, it's How Serious is the Coronavirus? Infectious Disease Expert Michael Osterholm Explains. I think everyone should watch this. Yeah. Because the media has hype, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy down the street might be panicked or mm-hmm. not. People at Costco are buying all the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, this guy, he, he knows the data behind this right he understands mm-hmm. the science behind this right and this watching this kind of changed my outlook on the whole right. coronavirus yeah. thing. how about oh, you yeah. no same um it was i i watched it and then i had my wife watch it because i think that with that hype from the media some of the factual stuff can get lost right and then we're left to creating stories and creating uh, emotions and fears within ourselves based off maybe a, a headline that we read or, yeah, or a yeah, tidbit yeah. you know what i yeah. mean um, but when you have a, a guy who's, whose sole job is sitting here researching this disease specifically and how it will affect and what, what numbers we can expect, and it's all factual, data-based right. evidence, um, it's just more – there's so much value in that. You know what I mean? Truly. So, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, taking a look at this video and kind of, you know, c- creating your own uh, – what you're – your own action plan for right. what you what you can see based on what we can expect to happen with this disease, um, I think is just beneficial. You know what I mean? It is. And if you follow what it's done in China, 
Iran, Italy. It's it's killed some people, but a lot mm-hmm. of people have recovered. Right. The thing he touched on in this is we need to pay attention to that, but we also have to pay attention to the fact that in America, mm-hmm. we have um, health issues that these other people don't, these other places don't deal with right. on the scale that we do here. Right. I have high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. I have for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> like that's that, an underlying condition that could play. Yeah. Uh, could make this virus more. Um, Lethal, lethal. So, sure. or forty-five um, percent of Americans are overweight. That's right. an underlying condition. Right. That's yeah. half of the mm-hmm. people. And so one might say, like, well, whatever. They didn't take care of themselves, so mm-hmm. whatever. But the thing is, like, is that person the guy that fixes your internet when your internet goes down, right. or is he the guy at the lake who makes it so the lake doesn't overflow and he pushes yeah. the button? That right. Yeah. There's a this domino is crazy. effect. Yeah. This is this is crazy. Yeah. So I, I guess I would, and and we never want to be, we never want to be the type to sit here and and and, and co- instill fear and cause chaos no. or anything yeah, no. like that. We're simply saying, educate yourself. Yeah. With the with the factual information, make uh, the action plans that you find necessary for you and your family and you and you know those around you, and just pay, pay attention. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Don't, don't yeah. bury your head in the sand, you know. And then the opposite extreme, don't. Um, you know, think the world's going to end, but I think, I think we can all benefit from being educated. Totally. And what an action step that we're taking in my house is we're going to work on a garden. All right. Right. Like it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's really Mm -hmm. inexpensive. It's a fun thing we can do with kids Mm -hmm. and we're not, we're not necessarily, we're not panicked at all. Yeah. But we're going to be smart and wash our hands after we touch shopping carts at Walmart. Yeah. Wash your hands and maybe limit, limit those, uh, there's a word. There's a new term. Social distancing, right? Yeah. Is the new term. Dude, I've been doing that for of, years. This week, uh, but you know, maybe not. If, if uh, you know, going to going to large public places or large public events where you don't necessarily need to be there. I mean, just kind of reducing those uh, yeah. interactions. I guess. Yeah. Isn't a bad. Dude, the guy that was on. I don't. I don't remember his name, but he was on the Utah Jazz basketball team. Yeah. He has coronavirus. He had no symptoms. Zero. Mm-hmm. That That's is crazy. He touches on this too, that some people will be asymptomatic and some people will be, you know, on their deathbed. I mean, right. hate to put it that way, but um, it just, it affects everybody differently. And then it, and then it goes back to those underlying conditions. All those things have a, yeah, it's wild. Crazy. All right. Next up is bachelor nation on ABC. Peter Weber's parents don't think it'll work out with Madison. Dude, this is so cringy. <sighs> did you watch it on TV? So I didn't watch this season. My okay. wife did. Okay. My wife did. Party, part every, every Monday night. Yeah. I knew that that time block, she was not in the... She went across the street to her neighbor's house Fun. and she was watching Bachelor. Fun. Adamant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And so she would give me the recap and whatnot of like, oh, these girls are left and whatnot. Um, so I, I didn't watch the season. I did watch this video and I was like... Uh, I just was sinking in my chair when you know it's like you got this guy who um and he proposed to her right or or they're just at the end he chose her. Well, at the end of the season, he proposed to someone else. Uh. <laughs> what? Because Madison left. Madison's like, "You're on the okay. fence about me. I'm out." Okay. So she left. Two days later, he proposed to I forget her name, Hannah Ann, I believe, right? Yeah, there you go. Right. And. uh then, I don't know how much time had passed, and Madison showed up, and she's like, "Dude, I'm I'm into you." So Hannah mm. it was upset. Mm. They're not dating anymore. When they had the thing where you meet the parents, yep. um, hometowns and yeah, yeah. stuff. No, that's not hometown. Where the girls meet the parents, and the parents yeah, yeah. go to wherever they're at. Um, the mom was like sobbing because she was so in love with Hannah, mm. and she was angry, just like you see oh, in this video man. when Madison came out. You know mm. when she met Madison. And it, dude, it's so intense. But Madison was so stinking classy. Yeah, no, throughout the whole I mean, thing. And, and like when you're when you're on TV and yeah. you're in front of this huge studio audience. Yeah. And then you have the, your man's mom <laughs> yeah. straight up being like, "Yeah, it isn't gonna work." Yeah. Sorry. And I thought it was just the mom. And then they were like, "Dad, <laughs> Dad, what do you I know. To say?" So, and then Dad was along. It, in in more eloquent words, I guess, in nicer nicer words, is basically like the beginning of your relationship is when it should be best, and yeah. this has been nothing but. Yeah. 
so I'm with your mom. And it was like, oh, jeez. But yeah, she handled it really well. Um, you know, she just, she was like, uh, it's not just about him finding someone. It's also about us wanting him. You know what I mean? And so like, there was a good, <laughs> there was a good, uh, she, she there were some good words, but man, I just can't imagine being in that situation <laughs> on TV, dude. As on well. TV, I would, oh, oh. I would probably just uh, sink yeah. in my chair and be like, I do want to be anywhere but here right now. So I would either sink in my chair or like get really upset and right. say things I yeah. probably shouldn't <laughs> say. It's <laughs> that insane. too, for sure. And um, yeah, they did they did a good job of keeping their cool. And of course, uh, Chris, what's his name, Chris Harrison? Yeah, you know he's like. Not Chris Hansen. That's the other Not guy. Not Chris Hansen. That's Different show. Yeah. Um, you know, he does a good job of mediating, I guess. You yeah. know what I mean? And kind of button in and be like, okay. So yeah. Peter, it was funny. Yeah. Peter, you have our support. And everyone cheers. <laughs> ah. Yeah. It was oh, crazy. Man. And the mom, um, in this final episode, the, they had a little, like you see in here, a little um, cutout of the mom's reaction. Yeah, yeah. And whenever Hannah would say things in the clip before this, the mom would be like, yep. Yes. Yep, you go, girl. You go. And whenever Madison would say things like you see in the video, yeah. she's like, "No, I'm just no. scowling." Dude, get over it. It's your it's yeah. your son's choice. Move right on. Right, and kids kids got to learn. And Madison's not adults. a bad person. Yeah, right. She's a kind mm-hmm. person. Like, yeah. Why be so upset? <laughs> Crazy. Oh man, that was a great a great list today. So fun, man. It never disappoints, really. I mean, it's um, we've mentioned this before. It's just a good way to just stay in tune with with what's happening in right. in you know pop culture and on this YouTube thing, and uh, some news stories in there. It's some technology on occasion. Some tech, yeah, dude, it's good. Hot ones, some hot, some spicy sauces. Dude. The look on your face when I said I got a surprise for you. I my stomach dropped. <laughs> I was like, oh, geez, uh, I'm not prepared for uh, this. <laughs> Good times. Well, thank you, man. Thanks, dude. That was so much fun. And uh, we'll do it again next week. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. If you're watching us on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe. We always appreciate it. If you're there on the podcast, five-star reviews are always Always. appreciated. Always. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. time.